Hey guys, if you want to learn how to make this bow, then stick around. Hi sweet friends, welcome back. Welcome back to my home. Now guys, I had promised you that I would show you how I make my bows. I love to make them for the top of my lanterns. Now, I already went over and measured. So it's better to add a little bit more and you can trim it away, but you can add two. Actually, there would be a way to make that tail just by using extra and adding to the back of the bow and draping the, the tail of the bow down. Now, let me show you what I have. Uh, let me bring the camera down so that you can see my work area here. Uh, that I'm going to be working on this bow. You can also make a big, big bow, and there may be some ribbon that doesn't have wire in it. Now, the wire ribbon is always the best to use to make a bow. You can shape it, you can store it, get it back out, fluff it for another day or another project. So, the wire, but you can add the, if, if there's just some uh, ribbon that you just absolutely adore and you want to incorporate it, uh, you can definitely do that. There's a couple of things that you can do and I'm gonna try to explain that to you as well. So let's just go ahead without any uh, more chit chat and I'll try to explain as I go along, but I'm gonna move you down here and tell you about what I have uh, to make my bow today. I think I'm going to make a smaller bow. But I'm going to show you something a little different. So let's make this bow about a little extra, about six six inches I want to make the other one six this will lay out to 12 I'm going to wrap this just keep wrapping it. Got your um, good side up, and you want three on each side. One, two, three. One, two, and three. With a little extra. Okay, guys. Set that aside and do another one. Just past the center, I need a little extra. And again, lay that one aside. Go get your next one. So guys, I wanna stop here just a minute before I do this one. Let's say you want it to incorporate some ribbon 
that does not have a wired edge. And it's just, you know, flimsy little ribbon. And if it, you know, if you go to make a ribbon, it's, it's this is the way it's gonna lay. It's not gonna have be uh, fluffed up because it has no wire in it. But if this was something that you wanted to incorporate in there and you wanted to add the color, I, I wouldn't be afraid to take your ribbon and maybe yours is wider than this. This is just some that I have on hand and you could take uh, some fabric glue or some craft glue and just barely put a little on the back and run it across the ribbon that you're going to use and that gives you some dimension to your ribbon it gives you another color and if it's just a ribbon you can't live without and you want to add it in your bow and then that way when you go to make that bow this is what you have and and how pretty can that be so you can incorporate the non-wire but it's just going to take a little effort and a little more um you know, constructing it in there because outside of that, if you um, if you don't glue it, uh, it may slide off your rib and it may not. You know, this is a velvet, so it's not going anywhere. And I wouldn't be afraid to incorporate this non-wired ribbon in with this if that's what I want it to do. But yes, you can use the non-wire uh, ribbon in that way. But to make bows, the best thing to use is the wired uh, ribbon. So let's go ahead and finish this smaller bow. And And we're done with that one. Okay guys, so this is what we have. We have three different color of ribbon, all generally uh, the same size. I made them 12 inches, so the bow itself is gonna be six inches in height. And you say, well, where where is the tail gonna come in at? Well, depending on which one of these that you want to be the tail, you can go ahead and uh, this one's pretty. I still like that, but let's go ahead and use this one this time. So remember, you want to make the tail a little bit longer. It's easier to trim some off than it is to add. But with this, I'm just going to make it the, the very length of 12 inches. And I'm going to fold that in half. Let's see, about 12 inches. And this is gonna be the bow, I mean the tail. And to dove, to dovetail, you just fold corner to corner, cut down towards the corner, and that's what you got. You want to do the other side. Okay, we're just going to lay that aside. Uh, and actually, let's go ahead and trim that. So this is edge to edge. And it should be about 12 inches. And what I want to do, this is the center of it. So I want to take, and I'm not going to cut all the way through, guys. I'm just going to cut 
about a half an inch on this side and I'm going to cut about a half an inch on this side. And this is what you have. So see you got that in the middle. But you've got it cut half inch on each side. And what we want to do here, and this could be a little difficult, but lay it out and find, you know, these are 12 inches. Find your six, six inches, and I'll do the same thing on each one of these all the way through. Now, your scissors may not go through all of this thick fabric, and this is thicker ribbon than usual, so I'm going to have to... Uh, cut each one individually. Turn this around. Got all those cut. Find your six inch, and again, start cutting about a half inch. Each one. This dark color is a little bit hard to see. Okay, got that one all cut and continue to do the same thing with all of your ribbon. This one let me cut all the way through, guys. Oops. First things we want to do is get our wire. I think this wire is long enough. And the next thing we want to do is start laying our ribbon out. Running that wire up through the cut sections, getting all of them in there. Okay, we're just going to pull, tighten that through there. This is our tail, which has also got a cut already lined up for you. And the next thing you want to do is just pull very, very tightly and twist. You can see your wire right through here. Twist that one more time. So here's the tails. And all you have to do is just twist it to where you want it to go. And now we're going to start twisting these and fluffing. Start with the inside one, pull it up, and 
and twist. Pull it down and twist. This one has two. and twist. with the black. Keep your tails at the bottom. A little thicker as you go. Okay guys, you just fluff and fluff fluff and fluff. So guys, there is that. i um, got an idea where I'm going to use this. And if you're not happy with it, continue to work with it. You can pull some of the dark up in the front if if you want to uh, just, you know, continue to work with it until you're happy with it. Fluff, 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 fluff. Also guys, this would be a, the perfect time to add any greenery picks or berry picks and just run them through the back of your bow on your lantern and how adorable would that be?